Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. The planet is full of amazing and beautiful places. Is it now? At the same time, it's important to remember that it is also fraught with dangers. Natural disasters occur all the time, no matter where you live. Some places have it worse than others, but at the end of the day, there is truly no escaping Mother Nature. No escape. Sinkholes are on a whole different level. While not a super common occurrence, they often will open with little or no warning and will swallow up anything that happens to be unlucky enough to be on top of it. From Russia to Guatemala, here are five of the biggest sinkholes found around Earth. Around Earth? I thought it was just one area. Okay. Number five. The city of Berezniki is located deep within the Ural Mountains. What name is that? The city was once home to roughly 150,000 residents. But due to the fact that the city was built directly on top of a potash mine, many people left. After over a hundred years of mining, deep voids were left underneath the city. Today, Berezniki has a very big problem. It is sinking. These deep mines had ceilings that were supported only by the walls and huge pillars of salt. Normally, this huh. isn't a huge deal. But in 2006, a freshwater spring began flowing into the mine some 720 to 1,500 feet below the surface. As we know, water can dissolve salt, which is exactly what happened to the supporting pillars. Obviously. When they couldn't support the weight of the earth above, the ceiling came crashing down, along with many of the structures above. Now, a significant part of the residential districts are affected by sinkholes, which are Look at all those oh. the largest of these sinkholes, nicknamed <laughs> the Grandfather, is nearly a thousand two hundred. And the sun just looking down, Ayo. More than six hundred. Earth has a hole. Deep. One scary fact is that this sinkhole actually is uh -huh. threatening to destroy the only rail line that goes to the parts of the mine that are still operational. This would be a huge hit to the local economy, as the Berezniki mines produce around 10% of the world's potash. Only 10%? As of wow. now, not much. That's quite big. Now, not much is or has been done about the dangerous sinkholes around this small Russian city. Russia, do you not care about your sinkholes? Sitting just off the coast of Belize is an ominous, dark spot in the middle of the water called the Great Blue Hole. <laughs> the At Great Blue Hole. Oh. Three feet across and 407 feet deep, it is the largest of its kind. The Great Blue Hole is a giant marine sinkhole first formed some 153,000 years ago. Damn. It is located in the center of Lighthouse Reef, a small atoll 70 miles from the mainland. When it first formed, the ocean levels were much lower than they are today due to quaternary glaciation or a small ice age. The reason it is considered a sinkhole is because this area was, at the time, dry land. Scientists have been able to verify this because stalactites have been found in the depths Stalact of this cave. Oh boy. As the years passed, the levels of the ocean began to rise more and more as the world's ice melted, eventually filling the hole. Today, this area is a popular spot for recreational scuba divers who of are course. attracted to the opportunity to dive in the stunning water while observing various species of fish that call this sinkhole <laughs> their home. The sinkhole is so deep that at the bottom, nearly no light exists, making diving all the more difficult. As time goes Just on, bring down sand spotlights. and sediment are filling the hole, but it is expected to remain for many centuries to come. It probably is still that way for... The sea, Dean's too late. Blue Hole, located on the coast of Long Island in the Bahamas, is the world's deepest saltwater sinkhole. The only way to enter this massive hole oh. is if you go beneath the surface of the water where it's located. Dean's Blue Hole is roughly circular at the surface, with a diameter ranging from 25 to 35 meters. 
After descending 20 meters, the hole widens noticeably into a cavern with a diameter of 100 And the hole widened. But unlike the I know a hole that widens. What did he say? This hole is extremely clear with a visibility of 30 meters on good days, making it one of the best diving and snorkeling sites in the world. No wind reaches Dean's Blue Hole, which means that this particular area does not see any big waves, making it the perfect place for beginners to start learning swimming. Another difference that sets the Dean's Blue Hole apart from the Great Blue Hole is the fact that it is home to living sea creatures that divers can spot on their way down, including the snapperfish, seahorses, and other tropical species. The hole was named after local landowners and is connected to the Atlantic Ocean on one side and beautiful cliffs and white sand beaches on the other. While the nature of the formation of Dean's Blue Hole still remains a mystery, scientists think that it formed due to underwater erosion where limestone was dissolved because of all the seawater of the beach, causing the ground underneath to collapse and be filled with water. Hmm. Interesting. The country of Venezuela is known for a lot of things, Venezuela. but sinkholes typically aren't one of them. Near its border with Brazil lies the Hawa Sarisarinyama National Park. That Within was a hard park, word to say. the Cerro Sarisarinyama, a flat-topped mountain with an altitude between 980 feet and 7,710 feet. This mountain is a rather remote location, with the closest road being 35 miles away. What makes this mountain so famous is not its height or its beauty, but rather the numerous sinkholes located at the summit. First sightings of these sinkholes came in 1954, when pilots began flying over the mountain, reporting the strange features. However, they weren't fully explored until 1974, when the first people finally went to the summit to see for themselves. Investigations were done at a couple of the sinkholes, including researchers sinkhole. descending into one. Two sinkholes, Sima Humboldt and Sima Martel, are incredibly large and very unusual. Each of these sinkholes have isolated forests on their bottom that also have their own ecosystems. The How? largest one, Sima How do they Humboldt, have their own is about 1,155 feet wide and nearly 1,030 feet deep. Another sinkhole, the Sarisarinyama sinkhole, has been Jesus very Christ. important for the exploration of the processes of erosion on flat-topped mountains. These sinkholes have either Back weird names or weird places that have weird names. was hit with a natural disaster that nobody saw coming. An enormous sinkhole measuring 65 feet across and 300 feet deep opened up in the middle of the city, swallowing Jeez. a three-story building in an instant. Pictures of the sinkhole show what looks like almost vertical walls going straight down as far as you can see. It was almost as if a doorway was opened that went straight <laughs> to hell. Almost immediately, investigations began to determine what caused this sinkhole. The investigation found the fault to be put on Satan a combination was calling, you know? of a few different factors. One minor factor was the eruption of the Pacaya volcano. It released ash clouds into the atmosphere and surrounding area, which fell and collected on the ground. This made factor number two a little more deadly. Just off the coast of the country was Tropical Storm Agatha. This system carried massive amounts of rain with it, which, when mixed with the ash, triggered some lahars or violent mud flows. Oh, lovely. Also, the abundance of groundwater eroded some of the soil beneath the surface. However, there was one last factor that was found to be the biggest contributor to the sinkhole. Beneath the streets of the city, sewage pipes had been deteriorated and were in desperate need of repair. These pipes leaked constantly. Over the many years, the earth beneath the city eroded away. Also, since so many of the pipes were clogged with the mud created by the volcano and the rainwater from Agatha, the groundwater inundated the soil below. It was the perfect storm of terrible things. Lovely. Plans were immediately made to fill in the sinkhole with a product called soil cement, which is made from cement, limestone, and water. However, scientists recommended filling the hole with large boulders, rocks, and gravel, giving water a proper way to flow. 
Okay, but you don't know the what's down there. The scariest part about sinkholes is that there is often little warning when one will open up. Thankfully, they are a rare occurrence. Hopefully, as time goes on, we will be able to better detect when one might occur. Maybe. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. Thanks for watching and tune in next time. Later. It's over. It's finished. Oh.